Welcome back to MathMind. In today's video, let's try to solve a system of equations of two variables that are linked by two polynomial equations. We're given the sum of a cubed plus b cubed and the sum of a squared b plus a b squared. And the first thing that we are going to do is to link these two expressions together. We can do that by using basic binomial equation. So let's go ahead and write this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write a plus b cubed. And based on binomial theorem, that's equal to a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. From there, we are going to try to rearrange this expression and make it fit the information that we are given. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as a cubed plus b cubed plus 3a squared b plus a b squared. From the information that we are given, we know that this part right here is equal to 2 square root 5 and this part right here is equal to square root 5. So let's go ahead and work out the sum. I have 2 square root 5 plus 3 times square root 5, which is equal to 5 square root 5. I can write this as 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by 5 to the power of half, which is equal to 5 to the power of 2 thirds. But what we are going to do is we are going to leave this in the form of the square root of 5. In other words, I'm going to write this as 5 to the half power cubed, which is then equal to the square root of 5 cubed. So what I have now is a plus b cubed is equal to square root of 5 cubed. If I cancel out the cubic power on both sides, I have established that a plus b is equal to the square root of 5. And let me go ahead and call this equation 1. And based on the information that we are given, we know that a square b plus a b square is equal to square root 5. If I do a simple factorization by taking out AB, I have AB multiplied by A plus B is equal to square root of 5. If I substitute this into my expression right here, I have AB multiplied by square root 5 is equal to square root 5. In other words, I have now established that AB is equal to 1. I'm going to call this my equation 2. We now have equation 1 and equation 2 and we are going to make use of these equations to solve for the values of a and b. But instead of using the normal substitution method, let's try a different way. Let's try to make use of the quadratic equation. I have a plus b is equal to the square root of 5 and the product of a b is equal to 1. So let's pretend for a second that a and b are the roots of a generic quadratic equation a x squared plus b x plus c equal to 0. Based on the product of roots and the sum of roots, we know that this equation takes the form of x squared minus square root 5 x plus 1 equal to 0. From here, let's go ahead and solve for the quadratic equation by using the formula. What I have now is x equal to minus b, which is the square root of 5, plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2. From there, square root of 5 plus minus what I have inside the square root reduces to 1. So what I have now is the square root of 1 
divided by 2. In other words, x itself is equal to square root of 5 plus minus 1 over 2. From there, we know that a can be equal to square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 and b can be equal to the square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 and vice versa. I can also have a equal to the square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 and b to be equal to square root of 5 plus 1 over 2. And those are the answers for today's question. I thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Take care. Goodbye.